Hi, I'm the developer of Democracy 3 and we have a expansion pack for the game coming out so I thought I'd, I'd talk, what it, talk to you about what it's kind of designed to do. The expansion pack is called Social Engineering and it's a bunch of new policies and new dilemmas that reflect a kind of different approach to playing the game. Now the basic game Democracy 3 most of the policies in there are kind of like hard policies in that they're the kind of thing that the governments do in a very obvious way like raise taxes or uh, change the level of uh, government spending on education and stuff like that but I think what's more interesting is there's lots of kind of small and subtle ways in which governments affect the population that aren't really talked about they're not in, in government manifestos or anything like that and they have a more subtle long-term effect so social engineering is an expansion that adds that as an option to the game so you have the kind of thing that you don't consider to be a major public policy like subsidies for cycling or cycle lanes or for example um, sort of public awareness campaigns on stuff like the dangers of, of alcohol consumption um, encouraging people to eat healthily, stuff like that, whether or not there's compulsory food labelling. Um, these are all kind of fairly minor things that have sort of subtle background effects on the population, but I think they're quite interesting from the point of view of the game, because what they do is they allow you to change not just how happy certain groups of voters are at any particular time, but they allow you to change the actual sort of makeup of your country. So, for example, if you subsidise bicycles, then you'll get more people cycling over time. Um, and it's not necessarily that you'll make particular groups of people happy, but for example, you'll reduce the number of motorists. That's quite an obvious one, but there's a lot of fairly subtle things, and this is a sort of interest of mine, the kind of like background ways in which government decisions and uh, sort of social policy affects the makeup of a population and one of the dilemmas that's um, added in this expansion uh, which I think is a good one is who to put on banknotes every now and then you know banknotes change and you don't really think that that's a major political decision um, but it kind of is and it's especially noticeable if like me you've just been to the States um, I'm from the UK if you look at a British um, this is a £10 note um, first of all, on the front we have the Queen, which is kind of a statement really. You know, we actually have the Queen on all of our stamps and banknotes and, and coins. And if you're British you take it for granted, but it's a kind of re-establishment of uh, the monarchy and belief in the monarchy and permanence of the monarchy, uh, which is of course a political statement. And on the other side of this one, um, we have Charles Darwin, which again we don't think about much at all but there's probably certain states, I don't know, maybe Texas or Florida or wherever, um, where that might not be very popular. And the kind of flip side of that is, uh, here we have a, a $50 bill, and um, like all banknotes it seems in the US, it has In God We Trust written on it. And again, most people don't, don't consider that to be a big deal or take that too seriously. Um, but obviously that is a, a, a pro-religious um, statement. So, when you make a, a decision in government as to you know who you put on your banknote, that that's an actual decision that is that is going to shape society in a very subtle background way. And what I wanted to do is introduce that whole thing to Democracy Three, because a lot of people are playing Democracy Three just to win. It's not just about winning. It is about changing society to reflect the kind of society that you want or that you want to have in the game just for fun. Um, so whether or not you can like change France to be a, a, a sort of pro-capitalism, extreme, economically right-wing country, that would be a challenge. You know, can you convert uh, the United States to be um, a, a sort of socialist, communist, utopia, <laughs> as it were? Um, again, you know, that's a challenge. And I think you can only really do that in a subtle way over the very long term. And the basic game Democracy 3 doesn't have enough ways to do that, I don't think. So social engineering adds uh, 26 new policies, um, and I think it's eight dilemmas, um, that allow you to have more control over stuff like that. 
so I hope you like it.